Come on in. It's way too early to be getting the train. No one ever says how hard it is to get good footage for a vlog. Although it helps to do it first thing in the morning because the only person I've actually seen is a dog walker, so no one really cares. No one's here to care. Brilliant. It's a fun little question as well. How does a footballer get better at what they do? I thought about it and uh, they tried. <laughs> there is no more beautiful sight than an empty train carriage. So, uh, turns out we're tempted to record a video on a train that is uh, not too fun, especially a train while you're trying to get it done between the first and second stops of your train. Um, it's starting to fill up a bit, which is fine, but yeah. I'm gonna do a thumbnail for that, get it uploaded, and hopefully it'll be up by about 10 ish. But that's about half an hour, could be a bit of a squeeze, we'll see. I haven't tried to film and upload a video from a train before. It turns out, big challenge! This bit's just because I want to make a point. This is the sort of bigger role I'm able to get in Lancashire. Just wait until the Yorkshire stuff. It's going to be great. So, yeah, that would be uh, more of the Lancashire landscape. Yeah, I can't wait for Hampton Bridge. See? Told you the Yorkshire B-roll was better. Ha! Anyway, uh, yeah, the rest of the trip passed basically without incident. I did, however, uh, test my thumbnail with a couple of Leeds fans that were sat opposite me. Had a nice chat. Also sat in the West End. Pretty good day. Thank you, Mr. Train. You've served me well. Now, onwards. For Leeds. To victory. Okay, fine. Not victory just yet. Car ride to home, and then to Elland Road. To victory. Right? A little bit of pre Elland Road football. I don't know what's going to be, like, the best result here. It'd be funny if Ipswich lost, but we want them to have as many matches as possible. So, I'll take three all, four broken legs, and a replay in two weeks where more of the same. Yeah? Great. Okay, yeah, never mind. I'll take the funny one. That'll do. Honestly, there's something about the trip to Elland Road. It's like... Ah, I just love the journey. Somewhat weird about the Lowfield Tunnel. It's like a portal into the football world. Quite like it. Don't get old, does it? I've got literally no idea how audible I'll be for any of this, so we'll see. I'll try and film what I can, but as you can tell, I've not got a mic organised yet, which I'm going to do at some point. We'll find out. Okay, so it might seem choppy, but I'm not able to record the video at games. I'll go from marching on together to marching on Match done. Didn't do any filming at half time because I realised that the mic wouldn't pick anything up. Um, a bit annoying one, really. One all. Um, basically, just do better. Bamford definitely changes the shape in a good way. As a result, Piru scares me a bit. And yes, I'm being a bit quiet because lots of people. But yeah, that's the gist, I think. Anyway, now to podcast. Obviously, this is the part no one tells you about leaving a football match. But then again, sneaky little empty industrial estate. <laughs> okay, so back from match, about to run in, get on Just Joe's little podcast. Let's hope I'm there in time. And the day is done. Uh, we have podcasted, we have watched Leeds, we have rushed home. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun one. Um, yeah, I think we've learned a few lessons from that. One, we definitely need a right back because. The issue came when Shackleton got a little bit overzealous, overpressed, could have been a little bit of a problem. And if we keep having injuries, not very good. Um, we need a Glen Kamara type in the midfield. Grove and Ampadu are both individually fantastic, but as a pair, I think they were a little bit too passive. Piru, I think, is continuing to prove he's not a very good nine, because he's not. he's just not got the pace and physicality necessary, in my opinion. I think Bamford would have definitely changed the game when he came on. His first touch was a header on target, which was wonderful. 
Yeah. Um, it's hard to know what to say with that one. I'm not too bothered about the fact that we've drawn. I'd be more bothered if it was in the league. The issue is more that we've got an FA Cup replay to play now. And they kind of want us to go through, but at the same time, I kind of want us to have as few fixtures as possible. Hard to say. I'd rather focus on the championship. Ah. Anyway, I think I'll leave that one there. Hope you enjoyed the video as a whole. It has been a nice adventure to make. I have a pizza waiting for me, so I shall see you very soon. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what your thoughts were on the match, on the video. Did you like it? Did you not? And subscribe if you're not yet. You could even be a channel member, which is hugely appreciated. It's a small amount a month, but it's completely up to you. I will see you later. Fucking hell, what a day.